Hello and welcome to today's Wild Beast Chronicle. Today we are doing something a bit different. One of our viewers has requested that we do a video listing the different subspecies of wolf. To make this video somewhat practical we will focus on living and scientifically established species. If we have missed something let us know down in the comments. If there is a species you would like us to cover or you have a more specific topic, equally let us know down in the comments. We start with the Eurasia and Australasia regions. Tundra Wolf The Tundra Wolf, Carnis lupus albus, also known as the Turucan Wolf is a subspecies of grey wolf native to Eurasia's tundra and forest tundra zones from Finland to the Kamchatka Peninsula. It was first described in 1792 by Robert Kerr, who described it as living around the Yenisei, and of having a highly valued pelt. Arabian Wolf The Arabian Wolf, Carnis lupus arabs, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to the Arabian Peninsula, the Negev Desert, the Sinai Peninsula, and Jordan. It is the smallest wolf subspecies, and a desert-adapted subspecies that normally lives in small groups. Steppe Wolf the steppe wolf, Carnis lupus campestris, also known as the Caspian Sea Wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to the Caspian steppes, the steppe regions of the Caucasus, the lower Volga region, southern Kazakhstan north to the middle of the Ember, and the steppe regions of the lower European part of the former Soviet Union. It may also occur in northern Afghanistan and Iran and occasionally the steppe regions of Romania and Hungary. Himalayan Wolf the Himalayan wolf, Carnis lupus chanco, is a canine of debated taxonomy. It is distinguished by its genetic markers, with mitochondrial DNA indicating that it is genetically basal to the holarctic grey wolf, genetically the same wolf as the Tibetan and Mongolian wolf, and has an association with the African wolf, Carnis lupaster. No striking morphological differences are seen between the wolves from the Himalayas and those from Tibet. The Himalayan wolf lineage can be found living in Ladakh in the Himalayas, the Tibetan Plateau, and the mountains of Central Asia, predominantly above 4,000 meters 13, feet, in elevation because it has adapted to a low oxygen environment, compared with other wolves that are found only at lower elevations. Dear friends, just like you, we love wild animals. And we are thrilled to have this opportunity to share our passion with you through the Wild Beast Chronicles YouTube channel. Creating videos that educate, entertain, and inspire is our true calling and we need your help. By subscribing, sharing and liking our videos you give us the desire and energy to do even more. If there is a species you would like us to cover let us know down in the comments. Now dear friends let's continue. Mongolian Wolf The Mongolian Wolf, Carnis lupus chanco, is a subspecies of grey wolf which is native to Mongolia, northern and central China. Korea, and the Ashuri region of Russia. Possibly very closely related to Himalayan wolves. Eurasian Wolf The Eurasian wolf, Carnis lupus lupus, also known as the common wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to Europe and Asia. It was once widespread throughout Eurasia prior to the Middle Ages. Aside from an extensive paleontological record, Indo-European languages typically have several words for wolf, thus attesting to the animal's abundance and cultural significance. It was held in high regard in Baltic, Celtic, Slavic, Turkic, Ancient Greek, Roman, and Thracian cultures, whilst having an ambivalent reputation in early Germanic cultures. Indian Wolf The Indian wolf, Carnis lupus palipes, is a subspecies of grey wolf that ranges from Southwest Asia to the Indian subcontinent. It is intermediate in size between the Himalayan wolf and the Arabian wolf, and lacks the former's luxuriant winter coat due to it living in warmer conditions. Now we switch to North America. Arctic Wolf The Arctic wolf, Carnis lupus arctus, also known as the white wolf or polar wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to the high Arctic tundra of Canada's Queen Elizabeth Islands, from Melville Island to Ellesmere Island. Unlike some populations that move between tundra and forest regions, Arctic wolves spend their entire lives north of the northern tree line. Mexican Wolf The Mexican wolf, Carnis lupus balei, also known as the lobo is a subspecies of grey wolf native to southeastern Arizona and southern New Mexico in the United States, and northern Mexico, it also previously ranged into western Texas. It is the smallest of North America's grey wolves and is similar to the Great Plains wolf C. L. nubilis, 
though it is distinguished by its smaller, narrower skull and its darker pelt, which is yellowish-gray and heavily clouded with black over the back and tail. Its ancestors were likely the first gray wolves to enter North America after the extinction of the Beringian wolf, as indicated by its southern range and basal physical and genetic characteristics. British Columbia Wolf The British Columbia wolf, Carnis lupus columbianus, is a subspecies of gray wolf which lives in a narrow region that includes those parts of the mainland coast, and nearshore islands that are covered with temperate rainforest, which extends from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, to the Alexander Archipelago in southeast Alaska. Vancouver Coastal Sea Wolf The Vancouver Coastal Sea Wolf or Vancouver Coastal Island Wolf, Carnis lupus crassidon, is a subspecies of grey wolf, endemic to Great Bear Rainforest and northern Vancouver Island within the Pacific Northwest coast of North America. It lives in packs of about 5 to 20. These coastal wolves are popularly known as sea wolves. In some coastal regions, the main food source is fish, making up 90% of their diet, with salmon accounting for nearly a quarter of that. They also forage on barnacles, clams, herring eggs, seals, river otters, and whale carcasses. These wolves will also commonly feed on deer and small mammals. Hudson Bay Wolf The Hudson Bay Wolf, Carnis lupus hudsonicus, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to northern Kiwatin, including the northwestern coast of Hudson Bay in Canada. It was first classed as a distinct subspecies in 1941 by Edward Goldman, who described it as being a white-colored, medium-sized subspecies similar to C. L. Arctus, but with a flatter skull. Northern Rocky Mountain Wolf The Northern Rocky Mountain Wolf, Carnis lupus irremotus, also known as the Northern Rocky Mountain Timber Wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to the Northern Rocky Mountains. It is a light-colored, medium to large-sized subspecies with a narrow, flattened frontal bone. The subspecies was initially listed as endangered on March 9, 1978, but had the classification removed in the year 2000 due to the effects of the Northern Rocky Mountain Wolf Recovery Plan. Labrador Wolf The Labrador Wolf, Carnis lupus labradorius, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to Labrador and northern Quebec. It has been described as ranging in color from dark grizzly grey to almost white and of being closely related to the Newfoundland wolf, C. L. B. O. Fucus. This wolf is recognized as a subspecies of Carnis lupus in the taxonomic authority mammal species of the world. Alexander Archipelago Wolf The Alexander Archipelago Wolf, Carnis lupus ligoni, also known as the island's wolf, is a subspecies of the grey wolf. The coastal wolves of southeast Alaska inhabit the area that includes the Alexander Archipelago, its islands, and a narrow strip of rugged coastline that is biologically isolated from the rest of North America by the coast mountains. Eastern Wolf The Eastern Wolf, Carnis lichaena Carnis lupus lichaen or Carnis rufus lichaen, also known as the Timber Wolf, Algonquin Wolf or Eastern Timber Wolf, is a canine of debated taxonomy native to the Great Lakes region and southeastern Canada. It is considered to be either a unique subspecies of grey wolf or red wolf or a separate species from both. Many studies have found the eastern wolf to be the product of ancient and recent genetic admixture between the grey wolf and the coyote, while other studies have found some or all populations of the eastern wolf, as well as coyotes, originally separated from a common ancestor with the wolf over one million years ago and that these populations of the eastern wolf may be the same species as or a closely related species to the red wolf, Carnis lupus rufus or Carnis rufus, of the southeastern U.S. Mackenzie River Wolf The Mackenzie River Wolf or Mackenzie Arctic Wolf, Carnis lupus mackenzii, is a subspecies of grey wolf which is found in Canada's southern portion of Northwest Territories. Not much has been published on Carnis lupus mackenzii, but one of the most comprehensive studies was done in 1954 by W.A. Fuller, Wolf Control Operations, Southern Mackenzie District, Canada Wildlife Service Report. This wolf is recognized as a subspecies of Carnis lupus in the taxonomic authority mammal species of the world. This wolf subspecies can be found in Thadine Nene National Park Reserve. Baffin Island Wolf The Baffin Island Wolf, Carnis lupus meningi, also known as the Baffin Island tundra wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf which resides exclusively on Baffin Island and several nearby islands. It was not formally recognized as a subspecies until 1943, when it was given its taxonomic classification by Anderson. 
This wolf is recognized as a subspecies of Carnis lupus in the taxonomic authority mammal species of the world. Northwestern wolf. The northwestern wolf, Carnis lupus occidentalis, also known as the Mackenzie Valley Wolf Alaskan Timber Wolf or Canadian Timber Wolf is a subspecies of gray wolf in western North America. Arguably the largest gray wolf subspecies in the world, it ranges from Alaska, the upper Mackenzie River Valley, southward throughout the western Canadian provinces, aside from prairie landscapes in its southern portions, as well as the northwestern United States. Greenland Wolf the Greenland wolf or in taxonomic Latin, Carnis lupus orion is a subspecies of grey wolf that is native to Greenland. Historically, it was heavily persecuted, but today it is fully protected, and about 90% of the wolf's range falls within the boundaries of the Northeast Greenland National Park. A recent genomic study has shown that wolves of Ellesmere Island, Canada, likely should be included in the same subspecies, a view also supported by earlier morphological reviews. The entire population is very small, probably about 200 individuals, but with significant uncertainty due to its very remote range. Interior Alaskan Wolf The interior Alaskan wolf, Carnis lupus pambacillus, also known as the Yukon wolf, is a subspecies of grey wolf native to parts of British Columbia, the Northwest Territories, interior Alaska, and Yukon. It is recognized as a subspecies of Carnis lupus in the taxonomic authority mammal species of the world. It was first described in 1905 by the American zoologist Daniel Elliott as Carnis pambacillus and with the name, Autocrat Timber Wolf, based on a specimen from the Susitna River, Mount McKinley region, Alaska. Elliott distinguishes this wolf by the teeth in both jaws being large and heavy, and along with the skull exceed those of C. L. occidentalis, the northwestern wolf, of a comparable body size. This wolf's coat ranges from black to white or a mix of both. In 1944, the American zoologist Edward Goldman recognized this wolf as Carnis lupus pambacillus Elliott, 1905 and with the name Interior Alaskan Wolf. Great Plains Wolf The Great Plains Wolf, Carnis lupus nubilis, also known as the Buffalo Wolf or Loafer, is a subspecies of grey wolf that once extended throughout the Great Plains, from southern Manitoba and Saskatchewan in Canada southward to northern Texas in the United States. The subspecies was thought to be extinct in 1926, until studies declared that its descendants were found in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. They were described as a large, light-colored wolf but with black and white varying between individual wolves, with some all white or all black. The Native Americans of North Dakota told of how only three Great Plains wolves could bring down any sized bison. Red Wolf The Red Wolf, Carnis rufus, is a canine native to the southeastern United States. Its size is intermediate between the coyote, Carnis latrans, and gray wolf, Carnis lupus. The Red Wolf's taxonomic classification as being a separate species, a subspecies of the gray wolf Carnis lupus rufus, or a koi wolf, a genetic admixture of wolf and coyote, has been contentious for nearly a century. Because of this, it is sometimes excluded from endangered species lists, despite its critically low numbers. Under the Endangered Species Act of 1973, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service currently recognizes the red wolf as an endangered species and grants protected status. Since 1996, the IUCN has listed the red wolf as a critically endangered species, however, it is not listed in the site's appendices of endangered species. Alaskan Tundra Wolf The Alaskan Tundra Wolf, Carnis lupus tundrarum, also known as the Barren Ground Wolf, is a North American subspecies of gray wolf native to the barren grounds of the Arctic coastal tundra region. It was named in 1912 by Gerrit Smith Miller Jr., who noted that it closely approaches the Great Plains wolf in skull and tooth morphology, though possessing a narrower rostrum and palate. It is a large, white-colored wolf closely resembling C. L. pambacillus, though lighter in color. This wolf is recognized as a subspecies of Carnis lupus in the taxonomic authority mammal species of the world. And there you have it, all the living wolf species. Should we do a list on the extinct ones? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this be sure to check out our other upcoming videos or our previous work in the Wild Beast Chronicles series, where we delve deeper into the fascinating world of the world's most magnificent animals.